In this video, let's see the first numerical problem based on maxima minima derivative test. Till now, we have only studied first derivative test. So, we'll be doing this problem with the help of that only. Let's see what the question has to say. It says, find local maxima and minima corresponding to fx is equal to x minus 1 whole cube. Multiply x plus 1 whole square. A previous year question again for CBSE board. Now, when it is plainly written, find local maxima and minima, you can either go by first derivative test or which we will be seeing in the next videos is the second derivative test. Till now, since only started first derivative, let's go with that only. I'll be writing solution. I write here solution. And now let's start. Very easily, you know the steps. We can quickly do it. The first step is to put y is equal to fx. Already fx is given. Very easy for us. The next step is to find out dy by dx or f dash x. So let's find out dy by dx. I know my fx is what? Let me write it again. x minus 1 whole cube multiply by x plus 1 whole square. Right? As simple as that. Now, I have to differentiate it with respect to x. I write differentiating with respect to x. Now, dy by dx becomes what? Okay, it is the product of two terms. We have to very carefully do the differentiation. Let's leave the first term as it is. And we will have to differentiate the second later. Plus, let's leave the second term as it is. And we have to differentiate x minus 1 whole cube. Right? Now we can go about it easily. It says x minus 1 whole cube. Differentiation of x plus 1 whole square is twice of x plus 1 because of the power rule. Then inside we have x plus 1 which gives me differentiation 1 plus x plus 1 whole square differentiation of x minus 1 whole cube is 3 x minus 1 whole square. Now simply speaking whatever comes out common please take it out as common x plus 1 is here x plus 1 whole square is here let's take x plus 1 then x minus 1 whole cube x minus 1 whole square let me take x minus 1 whole square inside is what? 2x minus 1 is gone, so only 1x minus 1 with 2 plus, very easy on solution, right? x plus 1 whole square is there, so x plus 1 will be there with a 3, I suppose. Yes. Now, let's simplify it further. It is x minus 1 whole square multiplied by x plus 1 multiplied by what? 2x from here, 3x from here, it gives me 5x. Minus 2 from here plus 3 from here, it gives me plus 1. That's done. That is simply dy by dx that we had to find out. Now, the next step is what? You have to put dy by dx is equal to 0. You already know it. Why? Because of the algorithm that we started. Now, when you put dy by dx is equal to 0, you get different values of x. So, x may be equal to minus 1 or x is equal to minus 1 by 5 or x is equal to 1. Again, one more root, two roots, both 1 and 1. And these x can be basically termed as c1, c2, c3 or any other things. Now, my task is not only to obtain this, but to know which out of these values will be giving me maxima, which will be giving me minima and which maybe will giving me point of inflection, right? So, the next task is what? The next task is to decide what of these can give me my maxima or minima. The first thing to take into consideration is this whole square. So 1 will always be because x minus 1 when you put equal to 0 it will give me x is equal to 1. It will always be a point of inflection. This you have to remember it for even any other question that you get. Next is what? Next is minus 1 minus 5. Let's check what gives me maxima, what gives me minima by the simple method of a number line. Now minus 1 upon 5 and minus 1 here. Minus 1 is less, so it will be somewhere here to the left hand side. Minus 1 upon 5 will be here. And even if you had plotted 1, 1 would not have undergone any change in sign. So here it would be both positive only. Then it would be negative and then positive. Right? Now, now you have to check which out of these is maxima or minima. 
I see that when I move from positive, from negative to positive direction of the x axis, that means when I move forward, I see that here the jump is from positive to negative. So the jump of dy by dx or f dash x is from positive to negative. Positive to negative means it is what? It is a case of maxima. So x is equal to minus 1 is maxima or the local maxima. It gives me maxima. And here you see it is negative to positive minus 1 by 5 to 1. So I say x is equal to minus 1 by 5 gives minima. And you have already written what is the point of inflection? The point of inflection is x is equal to 1. So you see that in this question there were three categories which were taken into consideration which cleared all your concepts maxima, minima and point of inflection.